Today, we're going to practice replacing the middle sound of a short one-syllable word with another sound to make a brand new word. We are well prepared for this because last week, remember, we were breaking apart a lot of words into individual sounds, which we called that segmenting the sounds. That brings us to today's lesson in changing the middle sound. Now, here's how it works. Everybody listen to my examples first. I will model two for you today. Our first target word that you need to change is made. Now, first, I'm going to segment the word into sounds as we did last week. M, E, D. M, E, D. Next, I'm going to identify, target the middle sound of that word, A. Then I will replace that middle sound, A, with A. Then, last, I will re-blend the new word using the sound. M, A, D. M, A, D. What's our new word? Mad. So we change made to mad. You see how that works. Now, I'm going to model another one for you. Our target word, cut. Cut. First, I'm going to segment that word into the sounds. Then I'm going to identify that middle sound, a. Uh. Then I will take out that middle sound and put in a new middle sound saying i. Then I will re-blend those sounds, k, i, t, k, i, t. Our new word, kit, cut to kit. Now, we will do these next two together. The first word we're going to do together is take. Now, we will make a new word by changing the middle sound to a. Uh. Ready? Begin. Yes, good. I heard you keep the beginning sound the same. T. Great job in changing the middle sound to a. Uh, and you kept the ending sound k. I heard tuck. You're learning fast today, so I've got one more before I turn you loose on your work. Target word is jog. Make a new word by changing the middle sound to i. Ready, set, change. Boys and girls, I listened really closely and I heard many of you say j a g. Do you hear the difference? J is correct, but not uh, it's i, and the final sound being g. One more time, excellent. I heard our new word of jig. Now, I want you to practice this next set on your own. <laughs> 